Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a green candy apple makeup tutorial. This is something so fun. I really love inspired looks and this look was inspired from Emily Noel 83 If you guys know who she is, she's a great beauty vlogger and she does great videos, great product reviews and she inspired me to do this video because she a few months, weeks ago actually did a tutorial like this so I was like ooh I want to do something like that on my channel as well so thank you Emily so this look right here is very affordable you guys this look can be worn any type of event depending on if you're wearing green or if you want to wear it. um sorry if I sound a little stuffy I've been going through a lot this week when it comes down to the weather the change and the things like that I just been a little sick with a baby but other than that this look is very great you can wear it to any event it's so gorgeous I love it never thought I'd pull it off but pretty much I did and it's gonna be voiceover so yay um so hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to let people know about my channel and don't forget to subscribe and let's hop right on into it have you guys even subscribed yet before we even get any further please do now I'm gonna be taking the NYX face and skin tone and I'm going to use this as our primer and this is going to set the shadows all day and it will not allow your shadows to move your shadows going to stay put and it's going to be more vibrant so come on guys we got to use that primer somewhere I mean we don't want no eyeshadows going all over our face we're going to look a, a zombie not just kidding but we're going to prime those eyes and we're also going to prime those lower lids because those lower at lash lines will definitely have to have some color on there too. Taking the green out of the clearest eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna mix that lime green and that dark green. I'm gonna pat it onto the lid. When I pat it onto the lid, I feel like the more the better the pro the product will show, and I just love it when I just definitely pat it nonstop. Basically, pat the two shades together on the lid, and the more the patting, the better the pigmentation. So, but make sure when you're patting, you don't over pat because if you over pat, it's just gonna like the hook. I mean, that's not cute at all. So, just make sure when you're patting, you're patting, but lightly patting. And plus, the more you pat, the more ombre. The whole entire lid will definitely look. Now, while we're continuing to pat, we're going to uh, continue to apply some of that lime green onto the middle so that lime green or that ombre look will be there. Now, I'm going to take that bronze coming out of the same palette and I'm going to use a pointer blending brush, like a round top pointer blending brush. And I'm going to use it to apply it to the outer V. And also I'm going to use it to apply it to the crease. So we won't have to apply any other shades. Now with this, this is basically going to be the caramel side of the look. <laughs> I know it looks so yucky right now. But when we get to the blending part, you guys, the blending part is just going to make everything look so great. So the more you blend, the better off you can see the ombre look. I mean, hello. The better you blend, the better the look. Ding, 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 ding. So... Now I'm going to take a larger blending brush and this larger blending brush is going to help do the trick by blending the two shades together somewhere it looks like you know overlap the shades and also make sure that it looks very well applied onto the eyes. Now with that being said we're going to definitely, I'm doing a little dance, I'm, using, I'm going to use my favorite eyeliner which is the cream eyeliner from e.l.f. I love this eyeliner because one, it's affordable, two, it is so gorgeous and three, it's easy to apply on and yes I am using my Urban Decay Naked Basis 2 Palette Mirror because I feel like I need another mirror to look down at so I can do that winged eyeliner that I always wanted to wear with this look. So it's not going to be perfect, but hey, I decided to go with the winged eyeliner. I mean, can we just go with the winged eyeliner for a couple of times now? Ain't nothing wrong with winging that liner out, girl. You better ring it out. Don't be afraid to do so. So now I'm going to continue to apply it on the other eye. Make sure it looks exactly like the eye. There. Okay. <laughs> to tone everything down, I'm going to use the Revlon Lip Butter and a brown sugar. And this is going to complete the look. I 
that was the whole complete look of this candy apple makeup look. Um, green candy apple makeup look. I really, really like how it turned out. It was some fun, something creative. Um, each product that I mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box below. So please don't forget to check it out. And guys, I love you guys so much. And I gotta go and I will see you guys later. Bye!